Hello, it's my good buds, and welcome to today's first of video connection with some of the mining paladin. Now that paladin has uh, some of the mining cards, and as you can see here, it also kind of gave it a bit of a controlly tool, um, transforming all enemy minions into one one murlocs. If you've got double jiggy char char do. Um, looks like our opponent might be playing aggro paladin, which uh, admittedly hurts, I think, us potentially a little bit. Um, they can trade one of these and then trade the 1-1, one, one, play a couple 1-1 one, one minions out. Uh, so we do have the Rock, which is pretty strong. I think next turn, though, we're just going to coin out Fossilize Kaleidosaur. Snake Oil Salesman. Yeah, I, they are definitely aggro paladin uh, in, in, a, in all its glory. Um, so yeah, we'll just play this. Do the Fossilize Kaleidosaur. Poison's not useful. Um, and what else did we get? Lifesteal? I mean, Lifesteal is actually pretty good. Okay, I'll take Lifesteal. And oh, Deep Home Geode is going to be great. This matchup, actually. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Clears like their whole board. That is so strong. Um, kind of makes me wish we had one extra mana so we could Shroom Excavate as well to give the Lifesteal minion, but let's make sure I read this. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all enemies. Just triple jacking. Boom. Clears the board. Yeah, they get to keep this, but I mean, I'm okay with that. You guys, I like, could have hit one of the one ones with this instead. Just would have cleared their board, but yeah, would have lost three damage. Now, if they want to trade here, that's okay by me. That's a one one. I'll gain three more health. Yeah, that's that's probably a better choice. Um, unfortunately, I mean, I can't. Ooh, ooh, I do like this. We can actually, if we hand of a doll this, we can we can trade here and boogie down. Yeah, I like that. Draw everything first, just in case. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a boogie down play. A boom, yas. Looks like we're almost out. That that geode was a heck of a discover or heck of a card, right? That, that might have saved us right right by itself. Maybe they're not pure aggro. They're Reno? Okay. I maybe I misjudged. Um, we also played all the uh, we also play all the cards that they play, um, I believe. Or most of them that they've played. So yeah, that could have just been a the way that they drew. Um, so by having a rock, we have the shroom excavate now for this, which I think is worth it. Right? Double tap. We either get a 3 7. I think I'm going to trade here just to. Or we boogie down again while we can. Which I th think is the better play. Like it's 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 a it's a finale. Double Snake Salesman's pretty strong. Maybe not as good as the 3 7 top, but it also thins out our deck, which um, I think you can't miscount uh, that. Or on dis discount, not miscount that. So now we have a 3-4 Poisonous Divine Shield Rush. <laughs> Lifesteal. I think I said Lifesteal already. Uh, that's a pretty good one. For them, of course. Now, if they leave their both of their minions open without Divine Shield, we'll probably just keep her strength? I would think. Um, I guess that won't get rid of this is the only thing. This does zero damage, so it can't even pop a bubble. We can rock burst. And then keep her strength. Then punch for ten. Where it turned out to be the more aggressive one. <laughs> shrooms, shrooms give eight and keep her strength. Uh, can make one heck of a minion, especially when that minion also has lifesteal built into its... Not naturally or always into its battle cry, but we got it. Here I thought we were starting this with me going, they're the aggressive deck and we're going to be... The ones trying to uh, control everything, and uh, they're actually a uh, Reno, I think. Anyway, a well, I would assume, I guess, if they're playing the Mirage card, that they're a Reno um, Paladin, and we are being the aggressors. Now, I don't technically have lethal because oh, yes, I do. Oh no, I don't. Oh no. Um, is this worth a Sir? Fin we haven't dug. Yes, we have. Is this worth a Sir Finley? I mean, these are both divine shields, so we can 
not give them health back. Do a diggy diggy. Give ourselves the Azerite Dragon, which is pretty strong. And then get them down to one and just now we play the Steel Hide Mole. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't even know if we uh are gonna have a chance to play the dragon, but we got to see it. Kaleidoscope basically glitter I shouldn't say basically carried the entire game for us. That Geo too though, I guess, kept our kaleidoscope alive when it might have died, I guess. So can't discount that. Uh let's go into game number two. Alright, kinda looks like a relatively similar start, except this time we're playing uh presumably a control, maybe Reno Warrior with the brand. Um so we'll start with Sanguine Soldier, so that way we can buff it. Although maybe we should have done the egg just so that way the buff sort of forced the kill. That's right, they have enough board clears that this kind of does that too. Buffing and drawing is pretty strong here, but getting the digs online early, well they don't have anything because our reward giving us the plus three plus three might go a long way, longer way in this game than it would have been the last one, right? Uh, and honestly we might just coin out the fossilized Kaleidosaur because of how great that was for us last time. What did you get? Taunt? Poison? Could have used, you know, Lifesteal and Wind Fury or something. We don't have Shroom Excavate in our deck right now, but having Glowing Glyph um, could be really strong. Glowing Glyph into like Hand of a Doll on, on something. So Glowing Glyph. Hand of a Doll. Punch. You no take pickaxe. And this is also active, so if they get any uh, big funny ideas or like trial by fires that we need to get rid of or something like that. Ooh, school teacher! A mound shroom excavate. Uh, I admit, I don't. I'm gonna open it. I probably should have said this first game for those who maybe didn't make it this far into the video. I don't like that this deck is this good. Um, I mean, I like excavate like crazy but uh the aggro paladin type gameplay to me has never been my favorite as effective as it is um so like it, it is a slightly painful in that extent so like what do we have here 9 11 21 damage if we really wanted to which i mean obviously i'd rather have this on a wind fury minion i think we're gonna play an egg we're gonna draw into a boogie down. So we're trying to like get them in a spot where they feel like they have to brawl. Hopefully that leaves us with a 3-3. Um, three, three. Now they have not dug at all and they don't have the... They have the coin. Do they still have the coin? Or do they play the coin? Or do we have the, we had the coin because we coined out the Kaleidosaur. So unless they play the, the actual natural brawl... Oh, okay. I will take a Colossal Minion. Sure. I don't play mechs, so... Sure. I mean, yeah, I guess that gets rid of this. Now we have 2, 4, 6, 11, 21. Again, only 21, eh? Yeah, that's not good, because we don't want to kill our own minions here. Um, We don't really have much else to do, though. We might as well do it. I'm debating on trading with the egg. No, we want to keep the egg alive, so... Let's just maybe even give them a quick bluff. We have lethal 15, 17, 21. I don't think they think that we have a have a lethal shot. You no take pickaxe. Use this to draw us another holy spell. I kind of think we'll get them so low, I guess, though. The Gaia, even just the two damage from its two rush minions could at some point be enough. Um Again, if they brawl here... Oh, the Gigafin! They got a... Like, a perfect one! Um, they need to double trade here, though. Alright. So, is there a way that we can work this out? That we... Shoot, I was gonna say, we need... To be able to keep our strength... Something up to four attack, but not seven. And we don't have that ability. Light guide my patience. 
Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't. Although this might die first. I don't think that's how that works, but... Garden's Grace. Keeper's Strength. Oh, it does work! Wait. <laughs> I was wrong. I thought they died at the same time, but it doesn't. Well, I guess what it's the AoE. I should know that. I've seen that happen with Twisting Nether and stuff back in the sort of Warlock uh, uh, mirror days, so... Oh, I love me a good uh, prison. Uh, obviously, I don't want to lose, but I kind of hope that they get something that makes it at least interesting. They just buffed my minion. And eh, they got an Orca. That's not really going to do it. And they hit themselves. That's. I feel kind of bad for you. Yeah. Don't blame me there. This deck. Oh. Before the mini set, I made a video literally saying, like, do we have a Paladin problem? And uh, I don't know how they managed to make it worse. Uh, I guess. But if you're looking for a deck to really climb to Legend super fast, this is it. Fast, crazy high win rate. Hard to play against. Excuse me. Um, and yeah, so anyway, that's all I'll say about it. I think it's too strong. I hope excuse me, they, they finally start making some more changes to Paladin. Um, it was knocked down a tiny peg not too, too long ago, but like a tiny, tiny peg. And now it seems like it's been picked back up to be uh, the top of the ladder. I'll maybe make a whole discussion video about it uh, just because it is a bit crazy what the meta looks like right now. I think there's only two, maybe three classes with a 50% win rate, which is not good when you have 11 classes. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Weird. A thing in my moustache. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.